to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Katrina. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Hey, Outlanders. It's pandemonium here. Well, hi, everybody. Yes, I'm Tara Bennett, senior producer at Sci-Fi Wear and author of the Companion Guides for Outlander. And I think you guys know who these guys are, right? <laughs> of course, we've got ourselves a lot of the cast of Outlander here. It's Katrina Bauf, Sam Ewan, Duncan LaCroix, Dave Barry, and Maria Doyle Kennedy. Hello. Wow. So welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So season five, Happy deeply, birthday. season five, deeply into the production of season five based on the Fiery Cross. Um, you know, last year they built a foundation. They built a house. They have a home. Uh, ended the season on a little bit of turmoil. So we've talked a lot before about how usually this couple is separated or dire circumstances. It, Stronger together. How, how do we feel when we come back for season five? Our, our, we're, we're together, we've got a homestead, but we've got you in a big moral quandary because of that guy over there. Who's that guy? <laughs> I'm on the run like the complete badass that I am. <laughs> <laughs> Merch is taking over. <laughs> How has it been playing, you know, having a family, being able to now have your daughter, your son-in-law, <laughs> to be able to have the Frasers together, even though there's still always going to be issues, how is it starting the season with that kind of dynamic? It's great. Grandpa and Grandma Fraser are doing well. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's, it's really lovely. We get to see them really enjoy having their family around them. Um, obviously, it's quite complicated because, you know, I'm not sure that they both are on the same page with Bree and Roger staying where they are, but um, we see them as a really strong unit this season, don't we? Yeah, I think so. And, and also, this, this season is, as you said, it's about family. And I think the, this season is very much about the family being, being stronger together and being torn apart by all these different factors. And as you, as you alluded to there, you know, for, for Jamie, I think, you know, he's really in this this tough place where he's sided with the, the British and he's being pitched against his, his godfather. And you, on the run, what's that do to poor Murtaugh and Jocasta? Cause, Murtaugh. hello. Murtaugh. Yeah. <laughs> was very, very difficult to do. <laughs> what is it? Uh, yeah, that's one of those questions that we will, yeah, we shall too, too see. many spoilers. But it's been awesome to see that they paired the two of you together. We got that lovely glimpse at the end of last season with the two of you. And it just gives your characters such a, 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 a so much more that we haven't been able to see, which is a romantic relationship. And to have your own dynamic amongst all of these other characters um, is that something that we should be excited to maybe see a little bit more of the feistiness between the two of them? I mean, we could tell you, but then we'd have to kill you, so. <laughs> no death What here. I think was really brilliant about it was that it was just, um, I thought it was amazing for them to show passion and love between people who were, you know, older than 20. I thought it was, I thought it was really great. <laughs> And, you know, I, I think all of us can say that while we love the books, one of the greatest additions to the TV series is that Murta is still with us. Thank you. You're quite correct. <laughs> How has it been being able to, you know, you were with the show, left for a little while, but then came back, and to be able to play with this company of people again and to help develop a character that's really yours now in, in that you don't have the text to infuse it, it's you. <laughs> and that guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, there's no roadmap for him in regards to the books now. So, yeah, the, the writers are able to let fly. And um, I think he's become a bit more three-dimensional as well as series has got, have gone on. Yeah. He's gone from the kind of grumpy sidekick to a bit more, has a bit more depth. You find out a bit more about him. 
He's Love found it. a voice, hasn't he? Like, he, he was so, so quiet uh, the first so few quiet. seasons, but now we can't shut him up. It's because I couldn't <laughs> remember my lines, basically, in the first few seasons. So, uh, you the... only have one line. Yeah. <laughs> so Hold we the have... Door. <laughs> Same t-shirt, sorry. <laughs> nice. So, David, you're back there, but we love you. Who is that? I'm a wife. Yeah. All they of do us, know who I am, Sam. We're very excited to have Lord John Gray be part of the series. We waited for quite some time. You've had a lot of love and a lot of really wonderful scenes. One of my favorite episodes last year was the episode where your character was sick and you guys had that basically that that two-hander with the two of you in that cabin, which was amazing and really gave us so much about both of your characters. Talk a little bit about um, being able to develop him and develop him within the confines of this show now. <laughs> yeah, what you... can I say? <laughs> Am I in season five? I think I'm allowed to say that. Yeah. Um, so... Uh... Jeez, oh, they put me in a tough position here. Yes, a lot of development for my character. Yes. A lot of stuff to do, and I won't spoil it. Good. <laughs> I that's don't perfect. know what to say. That's okay. Um, no, that's perfect. All right, so I don't like to put you guys too much on the spot because we don't want to spoil the season, so we'll play a little game. Last year, we did Roll for Our Questions, which was the big dice. So this oh, time, we're going to play what? Either Or. Either or. Either or. So either I'm going to give you a either choice. Either or. Either or. Okay. okay. Either okay. or. I'm going to give you a choice. Yeah. And you tell me which one and why. So I'm going to start with Sam. Oh, good. Horse or a car? Horse or cart? Mm, a car. Car? Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, horse all the time. Yeah. All the time? Yeah. We don't, uh, we, we still ride horses in the, in the show. Um, there's a lot of cart writing as well um, <laughs> that's true but yeah it's no, not we, as fun. i don't we, think that feels too good right we Your always, we always enjoy great. it yeah we, we we love the the horse stuff and uh those are those are the fun days definitely all right katrina ready? this is easy is that one I'm point ready. that was it one was a point one point ready awesome. whiskey or a nap <laughs> whiskey obviously <laughs> then you don't need a map <laughs> that, le that leads a to nap. naps doesn't oh i thought a map <laughs> <laughs> whiskey and then nap yeah that's that's the answer all right duncan a Scottish castle or a cabin in the woods? Oh, castle? Who wants to live in a cabin in the woods, man? That's for peasants. Good man. I agree. <laughs> All right, Maria, sing in the shower or sing in your car? Sing everywhere. I yeah. Think. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, David, a fancy dinner party or a home cooked meal? A uh, home cooked meal. Dead set, home cooked meal. Any particular one? Hmm. What is Australian home cooked meal? Yeah. Uh, anything I make that is my home in Australia is a home cooked meal. Uh, we're, all, we're all waiting for the Very invite. You're, you're all invited to a Yay. home meal. Especially you, Sam Hewen. Uh, I'm expecting to see you. I'll be there. Um, yeah, make that trip, please. <laughs> and I'll show you what a home cooked meal is better than a fancy dinner party. Very nice. All right, so uh, I wanted to ask for last season, was there a favorite episode? We talked a little bit in the book about moments and things like that, but when you have the distance from a year and you certainly then can think about the things that help develop who you are in this current season that you're shooting in season four, was there anything that you look back on now and you think, wow, that was a really important moment for me, even as an actor, getting them to where they're going to be in season five? Ooh. Um, I, I will, I think in a general, uh, Ep 13, because of all of the Native American, yeah. I think that was such a cool element to our show. It was so beautiful to be able to tell that time in American history. Um, it's unfortunate we don't have as many elements of that this season. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it was so rich and so beautiful and it just added another element to the show that, that we didn't have before. So I just, that's special for that reason. Yeah, I think the Native American side for me as well was just uh, uh, so fun to play. And we have these fantastic, uh, fantastic cast that came over from, from Canada and they really brought their own culture and their own life to yeah, it. Amazing. And um, for me, I guess it was the, the episode with the scene with, uh, with Willie when Willie sort of saves Jamie uh, from yes. the Native Americans. And I think it was just a really interesting point where you see 
him being Jamie's son. Yeah, which is so wonderful. Duncan, do you have a moment? Was it your return? I guess getting to work with this lovely lady for the first time. Aww. Yeah, um, the Yay. birth of Macaster and, and showing a bit more uh, depth and romance to the old dog. So yeah, that was it. Was been fantastic. Maria. I think one of the things that happened for me that I hadn't really thought about was when I just got to do my very first scene on the very first day, I realized that I was never going to be making eye contact with anybody for the, <laughs> for the whole season. It suddenly just kind of occurred to me and it was so deeply lonely and kind of overwhelming for a minute. But then I just figured out how I was going to do that and how I was going to be able to interact with everybody else. It was a huge uh, challenge and a bit of learning for me. Absolutely. And David? Um, I liked that uh, last season I really got to meet the other Frasers. So I got to have a lot of scenes with uh, Claire Fraser and Brianna Fraser. And um, I think uh, most of my scenes have been with uh, Jamie, good enough? Jamie Fraser. Is that it? I just needed more Fraser in my life. That's it. Who doesn't need a Fraser? Who doesn't? That's the answer. <laughs> Guys, thank you so very much. February 2020, guys. Yes, yeah, you did. So stick around. Thank you, everyone. We've got.